Wireless gave gospel music a wonderful yeah. look. Doesn't this look good, everybody? Let's celebrate that. And okay, we're getting ready to get this praise party started with choir number one from San Jose, California. First thought was we're going to go to this competition in Oakland and the brothers and sisters are going to smoke us. It's really not about our look and our presence. It's about the Holy Spirit moving in their choir. Amen. That's what it's about. They love God. They love Jesus. They love what they do. They love who they sing about. They live what they sing. It's been a great project for them to be involved in. And um, I'm so proud of them. The closeness that we have there in that room is really amazing. Yeah, even though they're just doing their, they fix their hair, they put their makeup on. It's just like family there. I'm excited about going to Atlanta. I think we should just spread it all over the United States. My name is Shanine Higgins. I'm the CEO and founder of Higgins Publishing with over 20 years in the industry. We partner with writers to help transform their dreams into reality. This evening, we are honored to host the virtual launch party for Eileen Detweiler, releasing her new book, The Journey in Between, Navigating the Terrain in Between Life's Moments. And first, I'd like to open up the event with prayer before we begin. Father God, we come before you today with grateful hearts for the opportunity as we gather virtually to launch this book, we ask for your blessings and guidance. We thank you for Eileen, who has dedicated her time and energy to Luya. And we ask that you bless her efforts. May this book be a source of inspiration and encouragement to all those who read it. We also thank you for the readers who have joined us today. May this book touch their hearts and minds, and may they be inspired to take action and make positive changes in their lives. We ask that you bless this virtual event and guide our conversation. May we engage in meaningful dialogue and may this event be a celebration of the power of literature and storytelling. Lord, we ask that you bless Eileen and all those who have supported her along the way. May Eileen feel your love and presence as she shares her work with the world. Finally, we ask that you bless this book and all those who will read it. May it be a light in the darkness, a source of hope in times of struggle, and a reminder that we are all capable of making a positive difference in the world. We pray all of these things in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The next thing I would like to do is a bit of housekeeping. Please mute yourself until you are ready to ask Eileen a question about her new book. Feel free to type your questions in the chat and we'll answer as many as possible. I am so honored to introduce Eileen Detweiler. Eileen Detweiler hails from North Las Vegas, Nevada, where she lives with her husband, Derek, and a lovable boxer pit named Dexter. She is the mother of four young adult children and currently has one son in love. During her in-between moment, she launched a podcast, earned a graduate certificate in Christian theology, and was presented with a proclamation from the city of Las Vegas for her virtual Bible study during the COVID-19 pandemic, awarded June 2nd, 2021 as Eileen Detweiler Day. The next voice that you will hear is none other than Eileen Detweiler, new best-selling author, reading an excerpt from her new book and discussing what inspired her to write the a journey in between. Hey everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say to everybody, thank you so very much for uh, participating and being a part of this amazing night and, and being a part of my journey. This is, this is simply amazing. And just want to say thank you. Um, before I get started again, I just want to say thank you to each and every one. I want to introduce my husband, Derek Deadwilder to you. Most of you already know him, but the fact that his support and everything that he 
um, that he does enabled me to do this. I, I couldn't have done it without him, without his love, his encouragement, his challenge. Um, and I just want to say thank you. Thank you, babe. You know, so I made him sit here for the duration, but he's going to get up and go now. <laughs> <laughs> but I wanted to acknowledge him and let him know how much I appreciate him and love him. And I couldn't have done this without him at all. So love you, baby. Thank you. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Don't okay. want to mess up your lipstick. All right. <laughs> Okay, so you, yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right. So thank you all again, Shanine. I'm so grateful to you for this for this opportunity, and thank you for seeing my dream and seeing what I wanted to do. I'm going to read a couple excerpts from the book, and I pray that you all got the book, and I pray that you all will just be able to to grasp whatever the Lord gave me, and that you receive it the way you're supposed to receive it. Amen. So the first excerpt I'm going to read from the book is out of chapter seven, and it's an excerpt called "Embrace the Pause." Every valley shall be raised up and every mountain and hill made low. The rough ground shall become level, the rugged places a plain, and the glory of the Lord will be revealed. And all people will see it together, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Isaiah 40, verses 4 through 5 in the NIV. If God says the valley will be raised up and exalted, he's saying you won't be in the valley too long. Is it here where we embrace the prize? Does it mean we genuinely accept the place we are at in this moment? It leads me to think I will get out of it quickly. There is an eject button. But we all know sometimes the valley seems long. But uncomfortable as it is, the valley is just as much an ordained place as a mountain and hill. And every valley will be raised up. Every mountain and hill made low. Could signify a balancing to be evened out so that all levels are equal as God designed their purpose to be. One not better or worse than the other. No matter what length of time, long or short you're at in your particular level, mountain high or valley low, it is an intentional space God created to deepen your growth. The Spirit told Ezekiel to speak to the dry bones. Why? Because God gave us authority over our situation to speak to the problem, to declare his marvelous works. I heard the preacher Creflo Dollar say, don't talk to God about your problems talk to your problems about God. A light bulb went off. Embracing the pause meant to embrace God's presence in my loneliness. Embrace God's approval of me. Embrace the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Embrace his acceptance of me. Just like Ezekiel, we must prophesy over the elements in our valleys, no matter what is there. That is how God exalts the valley. Speaking God's words into the atmosphere is activating life. Is there grief in your valley? Speak to it. Is there depression in your valley? Speak to it. Are there dead dreams decaying in your valley? Speak resurrecting life back unto them. Through creation, everything was formed with the spoken words in Genesis, and God said, let there be. Then in Proverbs 18, 21, death and life are in the power of the tongue. He gave us dominion and authority on the earth to speak to our mountain and possible situations and whatever is binding us in the valley. He gave us authority to prophesy life to the circumstance and death to depression and misery. I remember being in the hospital waiting area while my 21 year old baby girl was having surgery. It was in the middle of the pandemic. So my husband and I could not be there together. He had to wait outside in the parking lot. All I could do was worship. I was still numbed by the deaths of my friend and the thoughts of my brother. But I remember an overwhelming peace as I read the text messages of prayers and Facebook posts from my little one. So my father-in-law, my flesh could not take any more and yet, my spirit was on fire. I'll never forget the phone call from my sister girl, Coco, who had called, who had walked through similar situations with her daughter. She called me and prayed with me over the phone. In some instances in the Bible, a memorial was built to identify a location where a miraculous event or battle had occurred. In my valley, there was a definite evidence of a battle. There were scars and fallen bodies all around me, but God let me know then, and in that hospital room, hospital waiting room, on that phone call, this was just a walk. Yes, we were going to make a memorial here, and it was to celebrate the dry bones living again. And I want to read one more excerpt. That's this one that I really enjoy. This one is called, this is out of chapter eight, The Lily in the Valley. And the segment is called, or the excerpt is called, The Gospel According to Dexter. I wasn't a dog person. Well, actually, I'm still not. I can't even go to a dog park without anxiety. So I'll admit, when my husband Derek brought Dexter home on Father's Day of 2019, I was furious. All I could think about was my new carpet, my new furniture, and in my mind, we had just lost our freedom as empty nesters. He was a handsome hot mess in the beginning. He snatched my decorative pillows off my couch. He played keep away with us, running around the house after him. And he was so athletic, he actually cleared our four foot high sectional backward. 
in no time, this precious caramel colored, brown eyed boxer fit mixed puppy won my heart over. He is such a lovable protector and companion for me. I believe it was God's plan for us to have him, especially after the losses we experienced. Dexter was a godsend. He sensed our sadness, our frustrations, our fears. His attentiveness and affection showed when he gently laid his head on our laps or gave a paw of concern and soft licks and cuddles at the right time. As I'm writing this, I'm preparing to launch my podcast, also entitled The Journey in Between with Eileen Deadweiler. And one of the upcoming segments is called The Gospel According to Dexter, Life Lessons Learned Through the Experience of Having a Dog. My family's and my own experience in the Valley was one of loss, of grief, of uncertainty, and of fear. However, Dexter's arrival was an unexpected, beautiful ray of light and comfort. He became living proof that God can use anything to work all things for our good. So let's be clear, I'm not a dog person. I just want to say to you all, thank you so very much. And I hope that that was enough to make you really want to get in this book and read it. And the reason for me writing this was I wrote the book that I needed to read. It started out as a Bible study and most of you are on it, which is why I really wanted you on this call because you are the catalyst to this book coming into fruition. Most of you who walked with me for these last three years, um, got me teary eyed. <laughs> Walk with me these last three years. Every We started out weekly as a Bible study, then it went to monthly. But you guys were so faithful and you encouraged me. And every lesson that we studied that God gave me revelation for became bits in the chapter of this book. And I believe that not only did it bless me, but I pray that it blesses you. And so that was the process of writing. And I'm so glad that Tanya Jackson is on this call because she was the one well, the reason why I got Eileen Deadwilder Day, June 2nd, 2021. <laughs> and that was the most affirming thing that God could have done for me to let me know that I was in the right place at the right time and that I was supposed to be here and I was supposed to do this because I believe this is just um, a catapult to whatever God has next for me and whatever God has next for each and every one of us. So I pray that as you read this, and that you allow God to use you and, and find yourself in your in your in your valleys, find yourself in your deserts, find yourself in the mountains and in in the uh, the rough roads and um, and all of that. So thank you so much for being a part of my launch. I know it's supposed to be joyful, and I, these are tears of joy. I didn't really realize I would go there, but seeing each and every one of you, I am just overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed because I see. Um, can't see in the future, but I do feel the presence of the Lord and I do feel that he's taking, he's going to take this thing pretty far. I mean, it's like the Bible says, our eyes haven't seen and ears haven't heard the things that God has prepared for us. And then he also tells us that, you know, that if we trust him, he will direct our path. And so I do believe that this is that opportunity. So I want to appreciate each and every one of you for, um, for walking this journey out with me, but most importantly, for you all having your own journeys and being able to share in this moment with me and reading this book, I'm telling you, it's gonna bless, it's going to bless you. Like some, somebody had told me before, it's amazing that when you say that you wrote something that you like and you're presenting something that you like, and like I said, I, I read this for myself and and you know it's a blessing when you can give it out there and you and it's something that you like and not in where you're like, I don't know if I like that, but I do, I like honestly, I like the book. <laughs> And I pray that you all will as well. So if you guys have any questions and Shanine can read them and then we'll go ahead and answer those. Thank you guys. Let me know in the chat or go ahead and raise your hand. If you also purchase the book, this is a good time to give a verbal review, give Eileen her flowers while she's live right now. That would be great. I know that a lot of you have purchased the book in advance, the ebook, and it was released this morning. So not sure if you had a chance to, you know, skim through it and read it. Um, so then that way you can let us know your thoughts about the book. If you have, please go ahead and do that right now. And also, if you have not um, had a chance to actually post your review at Amazon during the virtual launch, uh, it's a good idea for you to do that. So then that way, if you haven't had a chance to do that, this is a good way for you to enter the contest right now to win some of the gifts and the free gifts and prizes, but you would definitely have to go over there and post that review during the launch. Oh, okay, great. Melanie, I'll go ahead and looks like you're unmuted already. Okay, uh, Melanie, are you unmuted? Okay, Shantane, go ahead. Hello, everyone. Um, I just want to say, uh, hey, Shanine, we hey. go way back to our accents. And <laughs> my girl, Eileen, congratulations. I'm so excited for you. 
And I'm so excited just to be right there by your side going through this journey with you. The book has been ordered, but it's given different days of when it is going to arrive. So we'll go through all that, even if I got to buy uh, one at one of your the parties coming up and bless somebody else. That's going to happen anyway. Um, of course, I don't have it yet, so I haven't read it. But just the excerpt of what you were reading about, I'm not a dog person. That was a good one. Um, as I'm not a dog person either, but I was just listening to you and how you said uh, the different things that you were going through and how Dexter was a comfort for this, that, and the other. And then at the end, you said, I'm not a dog person. So that just lets me know is we might not be this type of person or that type of person, but it seems like that you were open. I mean, you might have been, you know, kind of pushed back in the beginning, but it just seems like you were open. And because you were open, God took you through and you still said, I'm not a dog person, but it seems like maybe you are now. But um, I just want to say that part just uh, blessed me, just basically like being open because I say it a lot, you know, that's not me about this or that's not me for that. But sometimes you may just want to, I mean, what you said in the book um, helps me to just sometimes say, okay, that might not be me, but let's see what this is. And you never know, it might, it, um, it'll it work out for your good. So even though I haven't, what you read, I liked it, it blessed me. Thank you, congratulations again. Thank you. All right, now we're in the time where we're going to be announcing the winners for the giveaway. So looks like um, there were a lot of purchases for the ebook. Can you please let me know in the chat if you purchased the ebook, please just let me know. So I'll make sure I have you down before I announce all the winners. Thank you, Camille. Thank you, Katie. Ebook and hardback. Thank you, Katie. <laughs> and can you put some little, little emojis in the chat too? Not, okay. <laughs> that would be great. Thank you, Tina. Hard copy. All right. Thank you, Melanie, Katie, Tina, Sonia. Thank you, Sonia. Thank you, Jeanette. Hard copy on Amazon. Great. Erna, Shantane. Thank you, Shantane. Okay, I'm going to give you a couple more minutes to put it in there if you purchase the copy. Okay, and then I'm going to start announcing the winners. <laughs> Thank you, Camille. Camille purchased a hard copy. That hard copy is beautiful. It really turned out beautiful. Yep, it's right here. So isn't that pretty? Isn't that pretty? <laughs> Just cracked it open. Yeah, like, it turned out wonderful. gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> you almost don't want to sell it, huh, Ellie? Right, right. <laughs> I have to purchase a hard copy. I only got the ebook because I'm an ebook reader. But thank you, thank you. It's a much appreciated for your support, Charmaine Weeks. All right, okay. All right, has everybody entered? So now I'm gonna announce the number one winner. Hey, Camille, um, I'm gonna announce your prize. Oh, I get a prize. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, there you are. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, Camille, you just got 40% off of a publishing package when you're ready to publish a book. Oh, nice. Your mom gets 10% of that, 10% of residual sales. So you won that. Okay, congratulations, Camille. Can we just congratulate Camille, please? <laughs> Clapping, put something in the chat to congr congratulate her. You know, some emojis or something over there. It's kind of quiet. <laughs> congratulations, Camille. <laughs> Looking like <laughs> your mother. <laughs> okay, I got to look up. I'm, I think I'm looking down here. Woo yeah, that's good. Good job, Camille. Great, great. All right, now the next winners are the next, yeah, the next winners are for the free three day, two night Las Vegas hotel vacation certificate to the journey in between meet and greet with Eileen, the date to be announced. You will receive your certificate by email. So once we have that date locked in, you will receive notification. Okay, via email, because I have your email in the file. Okay, so I have a question. Is I need to take a tally. 
of a few people to make sure that here, because I'm not going to announce them if they're not here, because what happens is only people who are present can win. That's only fair. So is, I'm just going to go ahead and say who the winners are, and then you just got to say something in the chat, okay, and pop up your picture or something. All right, Charmaine, are you here? Charmaine Weeks. Congratulations, Eileen. I'm so excited for you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so excited okay. for you, Eileen. Face, God continue to bless you and oh my gosh we're just really excited for you Travis and I both are excited for you and looking forward to seeing you on your tour here in California and um just just really a blessing to so many people and thank you for your continued prayers for me and um I just love you I just love you and may God just continue to bless you with increased favor and grace so um congratulations thank you I receive it. Much. Thank you so much. Okay. All right, Charmaine. I'm going to announce what you won in a moment. So stage. Okay. okay. Uh, let me see. Uh, let me see. Is Karen Deary here? Okay. If you are here, turn on your camera. I don't think you're, I don't, I don't think I've seen her name in the chat. Mm -hmm. All right. So Charmaine and also Melanie, you just won free three day, two night. Las Vegas Hotel Vacation Certificates and Journey in between meet and greet with the author date to be announced. You will receive the certificate by email once the date is confirmed. So that's, those are two winners. Okay. All right. Now we- Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Now the next winners, get ready to shout. <laughs> oh. Okay, winners for the journey in between Christmas box with the beautiful with beautiful items just in time for Christmas. Shantaine, are you still there? <laughs> yes. Okay. Woo. Let's all congratulate Shantaine, please. <laughs> okay, and also Tina. Tina, is your camera off? <laughs> oh yeah, your camera is off. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Great. Hi, Tina. I know you said you tired, but hey, it's good to see faces. Again, Tina and Shantae, you both just won the Journey Between Christmas gift box with beautiful, beautiful items just in time for Christmas. So we definitely will let you know when those are going to be shipped out to you. So congratulations. Can everybody please congratulate them in the chat? Those who have not, you still, those who have not won a prize, you still have the chance to win. It'll be a random drawing. And if you win, uh, then you'll be notified. Now, some people came in later um, and joined. And if you would like to congratulate Eileen, you know, give her some flowers while she's live right now, just let me know by raising your hand and I'll go ahead and unmute you so you can say something to Eileen. But if not, we'll go ahead and continue with the virtual launch. For everyone that is on here, can you please let me know also in the chat if you had a chance to uh, watch the, or did you see the video for Eileen with her book? And can you just put something in the chat, please? Mina, when she first opened the box and got the, when she opened the box. No, there was a, a her actual uh, book trailer for the, her book trailer for the book. Did you have a chance to watch that or to see it? Yeah, for you to share that with your social media. It's really important that we share the link to the video this week. So then that way we can help Eileen become, well, actually sell more books. She's already a best-selling author. She hit bestseller during the pre-launch. So that's really good. But we also want to continually to create a buzz. Go ahead, Joni. Oh. Eileen. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a toast with my water to right. you. <laughs> Thank you so much for doing this for the community at large and for each one of us. And um, I, I got on here late because I was on a class, but I definitely will get caught up and I intend to get the book and review. And I just applaud you for doing it. Getting, you got it done, girl. A lot of people talk about writing a book. You did the thing. So thank you for that, for the um, in, inspiration. And I just, I just look forward to what's going to come out of this book and the lives that it will touch. And hear all the good praise reports and testimonies that come from your book. 
Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Okay. Okay. I think I see another hand. Okay, Elise. Hi, mommy. <laughs> I just wanted to say I'm really happy for you and I'm super proud of you and like all of your friends coming together to uplift you right now. And I'm super inspired. And I'm just really happy that like out of all those conversations that we had, that you finished your book, your book first. <laughs> I'm going I'm coming next. Okay. <laughs> and I'm really happy for you. And I'm really glad that we had all those moments together and that it resulted in this moment that you're having now. And I'm very proud and I love you. I just wanted to um, also give my congratulations to my mom. Um, she's worked really, really hard on this book and I have definitely seen the journey of the book come to life as well. Um, I'm very appreciative of all the people that are here now because um, at some point you guys are all very much instrumental in the, the book and, and the words that came to her. Um, you inspired her. You were there to support her in Bible studies and um, also just giving your your love and support nonstop um, throughout the last couple of years have been, has been um, so like valuable to her and she's expressed that to us her her children um and i just you know watching her do this uh, amazing feat even as she says she's 50 as if that's old it's not but even for her to continue to follow her dreams is really inspiring to um her daughters and her sons um and yeah i'm just so proud of my mom um and i'm thankful for all of you for being here um, I did have a question about the book, if we have some time for that. Yeah, we do. Oh, okay. can I can ask it? Go ahead. <laughs> um, I wanted to know, Mom, what was your favorite uh, chapter to write for this book and why? That's a great question, Camille. Looking back, I think the favorite chapter to write was because I'm so, I'm such a, I'm such a teacher. And I'm also someone, when it comes to the things of God, I really, and I really want people to get it. And I think one of my favorite chapters is the mountain. It's called Mountain to Mountaintop, because I go into talking about the discipline that it takes to grow in your walk with the Lord, just like it takes of climbing a mountain. And then one of the things that I say is that no one climbs a mountain by mistake. Um, you have to be prepared to do that. And then our walk with the Lord, as you grow in God, that's the intentional thing. Like you, you can't just get saved and then be like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm saved. So you pretty much just have your helmet on, helmet of salvation on, but you have no armor. <laughs> you know? So anything can happen. <laughs> and so that was kind of one of my favorites because it gave me an opportunity, you know, to even, even with my own self, my own growth, writing that chapter, I really had to do the things that I said. And uh, it was, it was good. It made me uh, recollect a lot of things, but most importantly, it was just that growth for me and it just it made me gave me a big old um exhale moment at the end but great question thank you for asking and this has been such a labor of love for you but um i think we all know eileen enough to know that it also comes from a place of truth and a place of i've been there let me hold your hand and take you through it and i think we've all gone through phases of every portion. A lot of you were in the Bible study of all the different areas, phases of life, the mountaintop, the valley, everything in between. And the way, the way she compiled all of, ah, don't cry. The way she compiled all of our Bible studies of all our raw stuff and put it into just this beautiful package of, this is my experience, but let me tell you some ways to walk through these moments. And needing guidance through the mountaintop is just as necessary as those valley moments. Those valley moments, you definitely need somebody but holding your hand. We sometimes feel on those mountaintops, you're like, oh, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. No, because when something goes up, it's got to come back down. And so I really, if you haven't read it yet, I really want to encourage everybody because this is for everybody here. Because if you haven't gone through one of those moments yet, trust, you will. And yeah, Eileen, I'm just, I'm so over the moon proud of you. And um, I agree with what other people were saying. I'm waiting for book number two and number 20 and number 50 and 
and all of those things. And um, yeah, and it's also awesome to see everybody. Hi, Eileen. I am so excited for you. So happy for you. So proud for you. And I'm looking forward to read the book. I wanted to ask you, was there a chapter in the book where you sat there and said, really, God, do I have to write this chapter yeah. that really tests you? That chapter is called Rough Road Ahead. And two parts to that, to that chapter. The first is just the roughness of how, when I went through the grief of losing, not just the people, but losing my job when I was at the church. You guys all know how, how much that, what that meant to me. I guess it's because of the way that I felt about the ministry and the way I felt about um, the expectations of people in leadership. So that rough road ahead is is those those rough valleys, those you know, bouncing in a car. And I and in the book I talk about how the Holy Spirit is like if we're in the car, in a car, in an SUV, the Holy Spirit is 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 the SUV of us riding in that rough road with the seatbelt on. He's our protecting. He's not saying that you don't have to go there. But you can go there with me, and I'm. You're gonna be in the car with me. You're gonna feel the bumps in the boat and the and all the stuff. You know, you're gonna be moving around, but you're gonna have your seatbelt on. But I'm the driver, and I know exactly where I'm going. But you're gonna have to feel it. And so for me, that was uh, one of the toughest parts. And then the other one, I talk about a rough patch in in our marriage, and I kind of go through that because after Derek lost his dad and Latanya and at least having to have surgery and. You know, we, our, we were like, instead of us coming together, we were like this, <laughs> like, I'm dealing with my stuff and you're dealing with yours. And so we had to have that and the Lord wanted me to be transparent about that space because it wasn't easy. And I had to have him read it and after he read, that's why I wanted to hear. But after he read it, I was like, what you think? He was like, um, I need to process that. <laughs> but even at that, with, with all marriages and everything, you know, it's always going to be something and you always have to come back and have that communication. And, and God led us, you know, to some wonderful counseling and, and therapy. Like I had never been in that part before, but I mean, all this was in the last three, two, three years, man. Five, actually five years now, because uh, you know everything started happening, you know, prior to uh, us coming here. So yeah, but that was one of the rougher ones to to write. Well, I want to say thank you for your transparency and thank you for sharing, because we all learn and grow from other people. And so just the fact that you were willing to be transparent and you actually succeeded, I am ever so grateful. So thank you. Yeah. Hey mom, just want to say congratulations. Very proud of you. I remember when this was just an idea and it was a, it's been beautiful to witness the journey of it coming to fruition. And I want to remind you that you should always own that you are creative. And this is a, you know, this is a, it's a, it's a blessing. It's your blessing. You made this and own that you are an author. You're a best-selling author and always walk in that and moving forward with your next book. Keep that in mind. Like if you ever feel like you're experiencing a time where, you know, you're experiencing writer's block or anything like that, just remember that you already did this and you can do it again. And I just want you to just to remember to own that and congratulations and I love you. Okay, we are at the end of the virtual meeting. So Eileen, I'm gonna go ahead and give it over to you for your final words that you would like to share with the attendees. So everyone, I, again, I, words cannot express that you all are here. Karen, seeing your face, I'm like, oh my God, that's Karen. You know, and, and Shirley and Melanie, Davina, I got my sister-in-laws on. Well, they're like sisters. Um, Janice, Jan uh, Jeanette, and my kids. Ramona, thank you, Tina. Joni, 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 thank you. My niece, Brandy, I appreciate you. My husband, of course. My daughter, um, Drew, and just all of you. Sh uh, Char, who's just been so ins inspirational to me and very much an encouragement. You all have been such a blessing. Charlene, that's my, um, she's extended family, Darren's mom. Thank you for being on this on this call. What a blessing. My mom is on here. I dedicated the book to a few people. My, of course my family, but my, I'm gonna read it because y'all ain't got the book yet. That's why y'all need to be on this doggone thing. It says I dedicate this labor of love to the following, my Zoom Bible study ladies for following, allowing me to share my heart and teach the lessons that eventually became chapters from this book. My mother for teaching me how to pray and leading me to the Lord on our living room couch when I was nine. My children, Drew, Camille, Elise, Marquise, and Darren 
for giving me more support and words of encouragement that they truly believed in me to accomplish this. And of course, my husband, Derek, for loving, supporting, comforting, and challenging me to complete this passion project. And I would not have been able to do this without you. And to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for enabling me to see this through. And the biggest thing is the, the forward, you guys, was done by Pastor Dick. And I, I couldn't believe, I couldn't believe it because um, I just think about everything that that we walked through and went through, and that he would take the time to to do that. It was such a blessing, and I sent him his book along with uh, with a little token from me just to say thank you. But it's just awesome. And then Shani playing that video prior to uh, starting the launch. And seeing the choir members that we no longer have with us <laughs> and how happy we were and the group i mean you being a part of everything is a part of my journey everybody's been a part of my journey and i couldn't be where i am today without each and every one of you without each and every person that has spoken to my life that's prayed for me encouraged me lifted me um just being a friend laugh with me you know, joke with me and I and I just I words cannot express and I just want to say thank you all so much. Um, and, you know, I know this is the last time because I believe that I'm telling y'all, I don't know what the Lord is doing, but I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready um, for for his next in my life. And I now and I could I could see now that. Um, that I went through all of that for some for a reason. And then, you know, when y'all see me in Europe somewhere, you look, that's why she. <laughs> um, oh, thank you, Drew. Anyway, uh, again, I want to say thank you. And most importantly, I want to say thank you to Higgins Publishing. Because <laughs> if it wasn't for Shanine, we wouldn't be here. Um, we wouldn't have been able to, to do this. I wouldn't have this beautiful book in my hand. She, when I immediately, when I told her, hey, you know, I'm interested, and the Lord gave me her name, and I just went on her her website and, and looked her up, and I didn't expect her to call me, but she called me, like, hey, you serious? And I was like, yeah. And um, she, you guys, if you if you have a labor of love or something you want to do, she made it so easy. She gave me the the, the timetable the um, of. of of what to do next and then but the coolest part is she let me work at my own pace it wasn't like when is your next part coming in you better hurry up it wasn't like that it was like this is your thing you work at your pace and if you see it's very professionally done working with her is like talking to her she's whenever i need she'll text me right back call me back email me whatever we need to do to get this to make this happen and so if you have something in your heart and you feel like the lord is giving you she also does children's books um and if you go on the website, Higgins Publishing, you'll see all the stuff that they have done. And so I just want to say to Shanine, thank you so much for um, for being a part of this journey with me, for helping me get this out. Thank you for listening to the voice of the Lord. Thank you for doing what you do. And I love when you said the prayer in the beginning about, about literature and how God can use it all, you know. And so thank you so much for uh, for allowing me to be a best-selling author. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I had to put that in there. <laughs> Thank you everyone for sharing and for attending. We appreciate you so much for your support and spreading the word about Eileen's book. For more information, we'll be shared with you via email if we have your email on file. If we do not, please type it in the chat so I can copy it directly to me, send it directly to me. And then We'll stay on for a few more minutes and then we're going to just go ahead and close out. If you have anything else that you would like to say to Eileen, go ahead and give out the little uh, congratulations right now. And then we're just going to go ahead and close out the session. Thank you again for attending. Oh yeah, one more thing guys. I'll be in the Bay Area on May 20th for a luncheon. Some of you already got the email for that. Um, and that's with mm -hmm. Kelly Velasquez. And then on May 21st, I'll be in, in um, the El Dorado Hills area doing a afternoon chat and tea with uh, Liz and we're doing something at her house. Then I'm gonna hang out in the Bay and on the 27th, I'll be at Cindy Lemon's house. We're doing a backyard um, 
meet and gather or something. I forget I forget the name of it, but it's going to be it's going to be fun and exciting to see people and get the book. I'll have books. Y'all say y'all have all these books with me, and I want to sell out, so I have books with me. Um, so come through, and um, I'm gonna reach out to Pastor Adam and Michelle and see if maybe I can do something with them. Um, but hey, love you guys. So just uh, just know, and you can go on our, my web. Is my website live, Shani? Her website is EileenDeadWeiler.com. So go on EileenDeadWeiler.com. All of my <laughs> dates are on there. <laughs> because I'm legit. I'm for real. I got a website and everything. I got some blogs and my podcast will be coming out soon. 